That's right. Don and Gino on your weekly Don and Gino real estate and finance show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHTS. And we are excited about our guest coming back. We bring her back every other, shoot, as much as possible because she's awesome. We love her. She's our good friend. And you're HUD expert. I mean, this is yours. All for you. And we bring her here every month basically to share with you what a HUD home is, and how you can get some of the best bargains and best homes available. And we have our expert that actually trains on how to deal with HUD homes and trains people. We got the best right here in Myra Santana with Sunrise Dream Realty. Welcome back, Myra. Thank you, Don. Thank you, Gina. Happy New Year to all of you guys. Woohoo! Yay! It is going to be a great year, huh? Definitely. Very productive. We're very excited. And, uh, um, you, you've heard Myra a couple times and stuff, and we have some great questions that we're going to ask you, Myra, because we want to make sure everybody understands what a real HUD home is, because I think there's a fallacy about a HUD home is just a rundown home that you can get a bargain on. That's not really true, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> and, you know, I'm so glad I'm able to explain this to the public. It is not a low-end housing. I mean, right now in these days, you find homes that are built in 2005, 2006, 2007, beautiful homes ready to move in. They are vary on location and condition, but most of the homes, they're not a low-end housing for sure. Now, a HUD home is a one- to four single-unit family residence, condominium, or a town home that has been conveyed or transferred title to HUD by the lender as a result of a foreclosure when the borrower defaults on an FHA insured loan. So basically, it's an FHA foreclosure. Exactly. As opposed to a Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac foreclosure. It's a FHA foreclosure, a government foreclosure, basically, right? Well, it is, HUD is the federal um, entity, but it is housing urban development. So the property gets back to HUD. And then they turn around and sell the property at an assets market value. But they don't just come up with the value. They actually hire an FHA certified appraiser to appraise these properties. That so they, that value is certified. Yes. Well, sure. that's why that what's really important about that is it means you're going to have a lot less problems with your loan. For sure, you because know. the property is already certified by them. Exactly. And, I, and, you know, in today's marketplace, one of the most difficult parts about lending is trying to get the right appraised value. You know, to me, the definition of value is what the seller wants to sell and the buyer wants to buy. And now we had to add the triangle to that is what the lender thinks it's worth. Well, yeah, <laughs> dealing with short sales and foreclosures. Yeah. It's so easy to deal with the HUD homes. I mean, then the properties the, the properties are turning to HUD. They sell them at an assets market value, like I said. They, they actually quickly turn it around and, and sell it through an asset manager contractor, such as PEMCO LTD. Now, wow, they PEMCO. have been, You love the I PEMCO, know, huh? I am so happy and so proud <laughs> to be part of them. They actually have been managing and marketing the HUD sales process and the properties for the last 10 years in 26 different states and U.S. territories, including California. So clarify again what PEMCO is, because that's a big deal. Yeah, PEMCO is who manage and market the HUD sales process and properties, one of the asset managers that does that, throughout 26 different states and U.S. territories. And they, they actually meet all the qualifications that any seller wants. I mean, they do quality work, they have professional people, excellent communication skills, motivated to have successful closing in a very short time, and they're willing to work as a team. And one of the biggest things is that they put into practice HUD's mission, which is to increase homeownership, support the community development, and increase access to affordable housing free from discrimination. Well, it sounds like the three of us. I know. That's the right, Don, it's, it's Don, Gino, and Myra Santana here making sure that we're helping you, and we have those three things, too. That's our goals, too. Great. Yeah. That's why you're on the show, Myra, because we know we love working with Myra. We've worked with her and her buyers uh, all the time, and she's absolutely one of our favorites. If you want a absolute best professional that works tirelessly and just a wonderful person to work with because she explains everything. She walks you through it and you get what you, it, she'll exceed your expectations, not even get what you expect. She always exceeds our expectations. Thank well, she's a consumer much. advocate is the way I see it. You know, she's always, you know, fighting for you. She's fighting to make sure you get the best price, the best terms, the best deals, the best repairs, all the termite work. Now on these on these homes, there's a couple of special things you get, right? They're a little a little better because they get some kind of guarantees with them. Well, yes, uh, like I said, they do an FHA appraisal, and if the buyer is doing an FHA financing, they will get that appraisal free. Oh, and that appraisal oh will, I didn't know that actually, either. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. It doesn't expire for six months, but if the lender only wants to use it 
uh, for four months, you can use that same appraisal, and the buyer will save three hundred and fifty dollars. Is it three hundred fifty to? Uh, actually, right. on an FHA appraisal right now, about four hundred and ten. Four hundred and ten dollars, okay. yeah. So that's a big savings. Plus, if the buyer will need more than forty-five days, which is the standard number of days for escrow to close, they will get the first extension for fifteen days, free, uh, free extension fee which is $375, they will also save for that. Oh, okay. So they're pretty lenient, right? Yeah. Is what you're saying. They're pretty flexible. They really do want to carry out that mission. They really want to make sure that they get people into homes. Yes, that's their first mission. And not only that, but they also pay for termite report and Section that's 1. That's key. Anything that is active, they pay if the client is, to, is using an FHA financing. So any active infestation, yes. they'll take care of it for you, so you yes. don't have to worry about that. Even lead-based paint. If you have properties built prior to 1978, they have to do a lead-based paint report. They will pay up to $4,000 towards that. So, so this is sorry. Yeah, that might not sound special yeah. to anybody that's listening, but it is special because nobody does lead abatement when you're buying on a regular transaction, not on a bank-owned home and not on a regular sale and not on a short sale. No one's doing lead abatement, so that's actually something really special, especially if you're either planning on having small children in yes. the home or if you're planning or you're pregnant or something like that. Lead is a big deal. It is. It's yeah, and you don't want them ending up like Gino after that eating that <laughs> lead-based paint. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, my crib, my crib had lead-based paint, and I have repercussions. I'm sure. <laughs> oh, and you know, even though HUD sells the properties as is, they have an exception to that rule. The properties are safe, secure, and marketable. Oh, so yeah. there you go. So yeah. okay, so how do we, how do we get a HUD home? Because I know. One, not everybody offers, I mean, nobody's, not too many people are an expert at HUD homes. Yes. But I know you have all the best ways to find the best home, uh, the uh, best HUD homes available. Yes, well, one of the things that I want everybody who is listening to write down is the website. This is a free website where you can find all the information about, about the HUD homes and where to find the listings available right now for sale. And the, that is www.hud.com. Pemco, P E M C O dot com. And if you want to view all the listings, you go into HUD Home Store dot com. HUD Home Store dot com. So it is a free website. You can view the property, the square footage, the year build, anything, the appraisal value, anything that you want to find out about the property, you can find there. Now we got a surprise for you, Myra. Yeah. So if you were driving right now and didn't get a chance to write that down, just go ahead and text HUD Home to 72727 and we'll get that information right out to you. Wow. You're going to get Myra Santana's personal information so you can talk to the HUD queen herself. Thank you. Thank you very so much. So again, HUD home to 72727 and uh, again, Myra, repeat the uh, websites one more time, just in case, so they can, you know, take a beat here, write it down, because this is important stuff. Yes, to view all the available listings, HUD homestore.com that is h u d h o m e s t o r e.com you can view all the listings there if you want to find out more information go into their main website which is hudpemco.com wow okay well that's a lot of information <laughs> i'd like to actually talk about those listings a little bit cuz you said there's quite a few now in los angeles things are changing yes definitely in la county we have 33 properties available right now and here in santa clarita we have two Okay. And one of them, Gina, that I really want to talk about is the one, I'm going to give you an address. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Now, now you're getting your pen out, huh? Yes. I mean, what's yes. in Santa Clarita? <laughs> <laughs> this property, it has been recently appraised at 315000 It was reduced twice already down to 252000 We're talking about a four-bedroom, two-bath with a wow. pool, <laughs> 1,837 square feet, feet built in 1965. It shows well, I mean, for that price, and it's available for, for all bidders, owner-occupants, investors, anybody who wants to bid on it. So someone can get into this home legitimately for like $8,000. Probably less than that. I mean, you as a lender, I mean, you three and a half percent down. Three and a half percent down, and set in HUD will pay up okay. to three percent for closing costs. There's the key. Cost. How about that? So wow. HUD's going to help pay your closing costs. So all you have to do is come in with the three and a half percent down based on the sale price, and HUD will pay your closing costs, and we can make sure that your loan is structured correctly so there's no surprises when you go to ask going, wait a minute, I thought I was only coming up with 3.5%, which can be a gift from your parents. It can be um, from your, your employer uh, your, or your 401k. There's a lot of different ways. But like I said, always reach out to us because between Gino, myself, 
and Myra, we can put together a plan for you to find some of these wonderful homes. I mean, a four-bedroom home in Santa Clarita for less than $300,000. That is insane. Wow, two fifty-two, two hundred fifty-two thousand. I, I, I could not believe the reduction. We just did the reduction this morning. So please get uh, ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Reach out to Don and Gina. You're the first one listening to this. Uh, it's so amazing. Just reach out to them. Get yourself pre-qualified -qual pre because they don't last. I mean, you submit an offer today, you'll get an answer tomorrow. Oh, right. that's fantastic. Let me. One more thing I want to bring up, Myra, is that not every agent can help you buy a HUD home. So when we come back, I want to talk about what you need to do to buy a HUD home. And, and we're going to talk a little bit more about you. I know you have other incredible HUD homes because at first, you were mentioned, Gino, a year ago, we mostly talked about Lancaster, Palmdale, and all that, but you have a ton of great homes in the Valley, Santa Clarita, around you where you want to buy your home for you and your family. When we come back to the Don and Gino Real Estate and Finance Show on your hometown station, AM 1220 KHT. <laughs> 